What's up YouTube, Jim Comics here, and today we're going to talk about something very controversial, and that is my opinion on Bioshock, and personally, I really think Bioshock is overrated, and here's why. Before I start, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on Bioshock, and whether you agree with me and think it's kind of overrated, or very overrated, or if you're actually like a really big Bioshock fan and you think I'm stupid. Just be honest and give me your opinion in the comments. So let's get into why I don't like this game, okay? And uh, I will pref preface it with this. This game works as a piece of art. Admittedly, the twists in terms of narrative are really cool, especially the game's big twist with the villain. And I do think that the story is well written, I'll say that. It would work really well as a short story or a novel. And the game definitely works as a commentary on government and human nature, but in my opinion, it just doesn't work as a video game. So let's talk about different aspects of that, okay? Uh, the politics in this game aren't necessarily preachy per se, but the game is entirely politics. Every character you meet throughout this experience is only there to symbolize an aspect of the politics of Rapture. They're usually bosses. The game doesn't really leave much up to interpretation and doesn't really let the audience member kind of imagine what's going on. It, it kind of just forces things onto you. And the thing is, the politics in this game aren't necessarily one-sided. It's not trying to like convince you of one political side, but they're just not that pleasant. I don't want to experience complete politics while playing a video game. Because it feels like every aspect of real life, especially right now, is already touched by politics. Personally, I play video games for escapism, spectacle, and moments of emotion, which this game just does not just does not deliver on. The ending cutscene just feels so out of touch with the rest of the game to me. Okay, I want to just go on a tangent here about this. I know there are two endings and I got the good one, which, while wholesome, just feels so out of nowhere to me. Like, the game wasn't so much focused on Little Sisters narratively until near the end, and I feel like we need some closure on Rapture itself and how the player character functions in a normal society realizing that they've spent their entire life in Rapture. The bad ending is also pretty weird because at no point do I think that anyone from Rapture would have enough power, even with the power of plasmids, to take over the whole world and get nucle nuclear codes. I just don't like how this game resolves itself because it feels like it's taking on way more than it can chew, considering that the game feels in many ways sort of grounded. It just has a real tonal problem to me. Because we don't really see a lot of the thing, like, the game forces things onto you, but you don't see a lot of it going on. So, for the ending to be so grand like that, it's just weird. And the gameplay itself just feels very repetitive. Like 2K's Borderlands games, it's pretty much a series of jumping from task to task, killing everyone and everything that stands in your way. By the 5 hour mark of this 12 hour game, I was fed up and just wanted to stop. But I couldn't just leave the game halfway through and had to play until the end because I have OCD and have to complete games once I start them. Well, most games. It wasn't atrocious, but I, I was just getting bored and tired of doing the same thing over and over again. And I kind of emotionally broke down. I'll talk more about that later. <clears throat> the boss fights in this game were extremely underwhelming. Every boss just comes up to you with no cutscene beforehand. And you spend the entire area that you're in learning about this boss. Which I guess is kind of cool, but at the same time, we don't see anything happening until the very end. Until fighting them. And all these bosses pretty much function like normal enemies or splicers but with juiced up health bars, and sometimes extra attack. I just don't feel like I'm playing a video game here. I feel like I'm reading a novel, but I have to do a bunch of min mundane stuff to get through the story, until I get to the ending. Which, like I said earlier, the ending disappointed me. And the game story isn't terrible. Like like I, like I said earlier, it's a good, well-written story. It's just a type of story that feels very passive, even though it is the forefront of this game. The world of Rapture is deserted, besides the scumbags you are here to kill and defrone. The game just feels so empty and lifeless to me. A lot of the events are grotesque, especially of the cosmetics doctor at the beginning of the game, which combined with this lifelessness just makes me want to put the controller down and do something more productive with my life. And uh, I think this is the core problem of the game, it's just not that fun to play. It isn't an experience I can see myself coming back to, as the gameplay is just not that unique and certainly not extremely polished. I like collecting plasmids and upgrades and all that stuff, I think that's cool. But the gameplay itself is just, it's not great, it's not anything new, it's just more gunplay. Playing this on Nintendo Switch, I just felt like I was playing a PC game, ported over. And it's not even the port's fault, because it ran really well. There were still glitches from a, from the PC game, and it just felt like I'm playing a PC game. I'm playing like a an early 2000s PC game. I can really feel the age of this game. What really stinks to me is that Bioshock is considered one of the best games of all time. There is often little debate about that claim. No one ever brings up the game's flaws. People are always complaining about linearity in games like Zelda Skyward Sword, but this game is extremely linear and no one ever complains about that, 
They just call it one of the best games of all time. Completely revolutionary. This game is just simply overrated. I can't avoid that fact. People can't keep avoiding that fact. It's just an overrated game. And I'm not gonna lie. I was already at a point where I was starting to lose interest in gaming when I started playing this game a few weeks ago. I just felt like... Well, I played it for Halloween. If anyone wants to know, I started on Halloween the day before Halloween because I thought, hey, this could be a, like a Halloween themed game. And I mean, I guess it was, but it's it's not even fully committed to horror, so it's not a horror game. I just felt like there were better ways to spend my time, and playing this game literally cemented that sentiment for me. I'm not going to stop video games or gaming anytime soon, but I'm definitely going to slow down and focus more on my own personal life, focusing on you know just bettering myself, because games like this consume 10 hours. Keep in mind, this is considered a shorter game, as most games are like 50 hours, and can still leave a bad taste in your mouth. <sighs> so needless to say, I did not like Bioshock. I possibly hated Bioshock. There were cool moments, and the story, like I said, was well written, but I just wasted 12 hours of my life that I will never get back. The game is not fun, and I definitely will not be revisiting this game, or even its sequels, ever. Well... I own the other two sequels because I got the Borderlands or the Bioshock collection on Switch. So we'll see if I give 2 or Infinite a chance. If anything, I'll probably give Infinite a chance and not 2 because 2 is pretty much the same, you know, in Rapture. And I'm just disgusted by this whole game right now. So even if that miracle does happen and I play this game and play the next game in the series, I'm not coming back to this one. I'm not coming back to Bioshock. It sucks. Okay? JM Comics out.